here. We're here. It's Tuesday, so we won't waste any time if you say to us. We've got a new stock tip today. Uh, this weekend was FaceTime, excuse me, was Zooming with two frat brothers of mine. Shout out Corey and Jordan. And we were talking a little bit about investments and money and how we got on this conversation was on the initial with the call, uh, Jordan was reading. You know, I asked him what book he was reading. He's reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And he asked me if I ever heard of the book. And I've actually never read it by myself. Uh, but I've read plenty of excerpts. One of my good friends, Drew, had draw here. Drew talked about uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad with me plenty of times and just the insight that it brought. And so just to paint a picture going with Jordan, Jordan is a guy now, former NFL player in the league six years, but he's, you know, on the transition to life after ball, trying to see what life looks like after, you know, he officially retired from the NFL. And he's on that journey, you know, on the journey of financial literacy, something we talk about here, the importance of that uh, for Jordan, trying to really understand how he can best help black America. Uh, that's a passion point for him, trying to be able to properly educate those that are coming after in of course, within that comes financial education. And he's just someone that's trying to, you know, take more emphasis and more control, you know, over his money and what, where is it going and what's happening with it outside of the standard vehicles, you know, that are provided. And so one thing that I brought to the table, you know, talking with him about investing, uh, you know, you never know really where to start with someone because there's so much that can go into it why I started a podcast so we can touch on, you know, different points and different aspects um, to not overbear anybody because it's a lot and it's a lot that can go into it and it can be confusing. But one point that I wanted to bring to the table for Jordan, just a, something very tangible, something that I think everybody can take with you if you're listening to this. Uh, I know a lot of people, they ask, you know, well, where do I start? Maybe you've already, you've done some research, you've read, you're ready to go, but you don't know where to put your money or what to do with it. And so for me, naturally, if you listen, you know my answer. There's one place you can put your money. It's the S&P 500, okay? I have an episode dedicated to the S&P 500. I will not get into that at the moment. However, maybe by now you put a, you got a few shares of the S&P, so you're well invested into the American stock market, uh, you know, slow gains in that regard. However, maybe you're ready for a little more. Maybe you want to get a little bit more intentional, uh, maybe there's a few companies you have your eye on or you want to kind of build your own portfolio of some sort, but you don't quite know what to do or where to get going. For me, what I told Jordan, the same thing I'm about to say now, for anybody right now, if you're an investor, you want to invest, take inventory as we speak of the companies that you are a consumer of, but not an owner of. So whatever that is, or those companies are that you consume that you like enough to give them your money, but you don't own them. If you have an iPhone, again, we talked a lot of this, it's kind of same, you know, uh, reiterating points, but if you have an iPhone, do you like your iPhone? Do you like your MacBook? Do you like your iPad? Do you like your Apple TV? Do you like your Apple card? If so, invest in Apple. Simple, very simple. If you have an iPhone, you should invest in Apple. If you're gonna get the new iPhone, you should invest in Apple. You know, why do we do that? Well, new iPhone's coming out. Joshua Grady, even if I don't buy that new iPhone, every time some maybe it's you or somebody else, your neighbor, your mom, whoever, if they buy an iPhone, they are putting money in my pocket. That there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And so for me, it's well, if I'm gonna go buy the new iPhone, I don't know if I will, but if I am, I'm gonna put some money in my own pocket. You know, I'm an Apple owner. And so that's one way, one place to start. If you love Nike, if you're all about Nike, if you represent Nike, you wear Nike cleats, Nike shoes, if you're Nike, 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 you should own some Nike. You no, know, very simple, very, very simple. If you drive Uber Eats, I drive Uber Eats and I use Uber Eats. I also own Uber, you know, again, very simple things. Let's take it, let's take it a little further. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so if you're someone, maybe you have a website, that has an e-commerce platform that you sell some clothes. What are you using for that? I don't know necessarily the ins and outs of Shopify, but I know a lot of these websites out here be using Shopify. And if your website out here uses Shopify, you ought to invest in Shopify. If you find yourself Googling a lot, if you have Gmail, if you use Google Suites, if you use Google Drive, if you use YouTube, maybe you ought to own some Google. You know, and these are just... Little, just little, you know, small examples. And I'll, I'll break it down even more. One of my good friends, Jeff, 
talked about how his wife, Charlie, she works in the medical field, medical industry, works at Vanderbilt. And he's talking about how Abbott, I had never heard of an Abbott, but I was talking about how Abbott, you know, Charlie uses a lot of Abbott's products from what I remember. The little research, oh, they're in hospitals? Boom, no brainer, simple. My wife has a Peloton. She bought a Peloton, she bought some Peloton shares. Very simple. We eat a lot of vegan meals. My wife is vegan. I'm very heavily plant-based. One of the best plant-based products is Beyond Meat. Stop buying the burger. Well, we didn't stop. We still do buy the burgers, the sausage. We also bought some shares of Beyond Meat. You know, and so these are little things. You know, if you drive a if you drive a Tesla, you should own Tesla. And it's just these little things, man. You could look around, and I guess that's my encouragement today: is take some time and look around. You know, what companies that are publicly traded that I have a possibility of becoming an owner in which of these companies are around me whether it's clothing maybe they make shoes maybe it's whoever makes your car maybe it's this drink company maybe you really like coca-cola pepsi maybe you have your bank account with bank of america maybe your credit card is with visa maybe you have your son has an xbox hint hint microsoft you know, ps4 hint hint sony Little things, man. Little things. Little things. You really, I think anybody, we're at the point now where honestly, if you are just the average American, you can have an investment portfolio that is no more than the companies that you yourself are convicted enough to buy, that you are a consumer of this company. If you simply became a part owner of those companies that you yourself use on a day-to-day -day basis, you will be a successful investor. For me, I just simply try to look at myself as if, uh, as if I am the average American, which in reality, I am. I am no different than the average. What are the companies that I use, that I lean on, that I go to? And Amazon, you know, I've talked about Amazon here before. I use them all the time. You know, at Walmart, I go to Walmart, I go to Target, I go to Starbucks. And these are all companies that are in my portfolio. And again, it's not that complicated. It's very simple, but it's just about being intentional. It's about doing the research. It's about knowing that, hey, Ownership is important. That's how I make money while I'm asleep. And that's how I'm going to be able to pass back a heritage to Roman that he's going to be able to hopefully Lord one one day say, man, I'm glad that dad did this for me. So if that's you, you don't know where to start. Start by just examining your room, looking at your closet. What are those brands that you already put some money in their pocket? Go ahead and save up, get you a few shares and let's get, let's get it going. Let's get on this, you know, this wealth journey because I'm on it, and hopefully if you're listening to this, you're on it as well. And again, it's that simple. So for me, that's all I got. Joshua Grady here, Stock Tip Tuesday. If you're listening to this on the streaming platforms, uh, it would be great if you could leave a five-star review. Subscribe if you're listening to this or watching this on YouTube. If you could subscribe, hit that button below. Throw a like down. I would appreciate that. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram at Agent Talk, at Agent Grady underscore. And aside from that, go get you some shares, man. Get you that wealth. And that's all I got. Joshua Grady here. I'm out.